Today I'm going to guide you on optimal speaker placement whether it's for your home office, studio, gaming setup, or even your entertainment center. Since we don't always get the optimal space we dream of, I'm going to talk about a few best practices to get you great sound for any situation. First, let's talk about speaker size. Smaller monitors with a low frequency driver of less than 6 inches works best in small rooms and rooms with awkward dimensions. In larger rooms, monitors with 8 inch low frequency drivers can be used. In this video, I'm using Mackie CR5Xs with Bluetooth, which are great for any situation. Next, let's talk about position. The way your monitors sound can depend on the size and shape of your room and by the position of your monitors. The center of a wall provides a well-balanced listening position. Feel free to incorporate monitor stands if you have to. We also recommend acoustic isolation pads. Without pads, your speakers couple to the surface you place them on, which can result in bass buildup that muddies and masks highs and mids. You can also use these to angle your speakers up or down so that you can ensure they're pointed right at your ears, regardless of their altitude. You can also place some acoustic foam at either side of your listening position and behind each speaker to help improve sound quality. By the way, there are many substitutes out there that help break up reflections as well, such as curtains and even shelves of books. Now, have you ever heard of the sweet spot? The sweet spot is used to describe the focal point between two speakers. Basically, this is where someone is fully capable of hearing the mix the way it was intended to be heard. To create the sweet spot, angle your monitor symmetrically so that the tweeters form an equilateral triangle with an imaginary point behind your head. Make sure your speakers are also the same distance from each other as they are from you. And keep in mind that bass frequencies are omnidirectional. Mid and high frequencies, where vocal and instrument clarity, along with definition and articulation lift, are more directional. This is why it's best to sit with the tweeters facing your ears wherever you decide to use your monitors. Now it's time to get hooked up. Mackie provides you with a ton of connection options that make it quick and easy to start. First, you'll want to decide which side of your desk gets the volume knob. Then, adjust the powered speaker position with the switch on the back panel. Next, let's connect your monitors together. For these cr 5s we'll be using the black and red speaker-to-speaker -speaker wires Mackie includes. Connect the black and red speaker wires from the powered monitor spring clips to the passive monitor spring clips. Now you're ready to hook up your audio source. If you want to connect your monitors directly to your PC, use an 8th inch to stereo RCA cable and connect it from your powered speaker to the line level output of your PC. Then, make sure your monitors are selected as your default playback device on your PC. You can also hook up your gaming station, laptop, and even your TV using this cable. Say you want to hook up your studio monitors to an audio interface. Use the balanced quarter inch input jacks on the back of the powered speaker. In this video, I'm using TRS to TRS cables to connect to my Big Knob Studio interface. Just make sure your interface is selected as your default playback device on your PC. Finally, play some music to hear how it all sounds. There's a lot of trial and error that goes into setting up your monitors, so just be patient and try out a few different setups until you find the one that works best for you. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out all our latest gear at Mackie.com. Feel free to post pics and videos of your setup with the hashtag MadeOnMackie.